Hi, I'm Maya Ringler, and today I will be giving a speech on alkaline hydrolysis. Um, here we go. I'm sure everyone has been to a funeral or two in their lives. There are many different options when it comes to disposing of a body after death. One that we will be talking about today is called alkaline hydrolysis, also known as water cremation. It is currently only legal in 17 states. Today, we will touch on how alkaline hydrolysis works, how it speeds up a human's natural decomposition, and how alkaline hydrolysis is a more eco-friendly way of being disposed of. The process of alkaline hydrolysis is done by using water, heat, pressure, and potassium hydroxide, or sodium hydroxide. After this is done, all that is left is bone fragments and teeth fillings. The fillings don't decompose because they are made up of mercury. As stated by Very Well Health, the process only works on protein-based materials, so the body must be dressed in a certain types of natural fiber clothing, such as silk, leather, or wool. The body is next placed within a stainless steel alkaline hydrolysis chamber. The entire process takes roughly two two to three hours, which is equivalent to the time necessary for an average cremation. The water from alkaline hydrolysis is then sent to a water treatment plant to be cleaned and returned back into the Earth's natural water cycle. Alkaline hydrolysis speeds up the body's natural cycle of decomposing, much like cremation does. Cremation and alkaline hydrolysis both on average take between two to three hours, as I've stated before. When a body is buried in a casket, it can take the body up to a year to decompose into only bone fragments. The reason our body decomposes so much faster with cremation and alkaline hydrolysis is because of the chemicals used. Most often, someone being um, most often someone being buried in a casket has been embalmed to preserve the body for longer. Most often, in cases where um, the family wants an open casket to see their loved one one last time. When things like cremation and alkaline hydrolysis are done, the opposite is happening. They are trying to speed up the process of decomposing compared to slow it down, like an open casket funeral. Alkaline hydrolysis is a very eco-friendly process. This process uses less energy than cremation and puts off less CO2 gases that are creating greenhouse emissions. It also takes up less burial land when people choose alkaline hydrolysis. According to Sherry Johnson with joincake.com, alkaline hydrolysis is a very eco-friendly process with no known negative environmental impacts. The entire process uses about 300 gallons of water, which is approximately the equivalent of one person's use for three days. There are no harmful emissions and the resulting solution is non-toxic and sterile and biofriendly. Diseases and pathogens in the body are rendered harmless. The bodies are turned into something that benefits the earth rather than harm it. The process also reduces the number of caskets used and saves trees in the process, since no casket is involved. Alkaline hydrolysis is an amazing discovery in the field of mortuary sciences. It works by using water, heat, and a few other chemicals to turn a human remains into nothing but bones and maybe a few cavity fillings. It also speeds up the body's process of decomposing. It can take over a year for the body to do that naturally. That's pretty fast. AH is also a very eco-friendly way of having your body disposed of. It leads to much less greenhouse gas emission and takes up much less land. Thank you for listening.